everyone, Marose Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another spend the day with me vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, welcome. I had nothing to shoot today. <laughs> so I was like, we're just gonna do a day with me. I'm gonna just be around the house. I will show you all what I've been up to the last couple of days and a few new things I've gotten in. But for now, I am just doing a quick makeup um, look because I wanna shoot some reels here in Miami. I shot about 10 reels in my closet in Harlem. Um, when I was in New York right before I came back here after fashion month, I'll pop some of those up I try and post them on shorts as well, but sometimes I forget So if you're not following me on Instagram, stop the video Take a moment. Give your girl a follow at Monroe Steel. I'll put it on the screen here M-O-N-R-O-E-S-T-E-L-E -E -E. That's me on Instagram um, And a lot of times when I post the YouTube shorts um I don't have a chance to put what the items are in the description bar so you can always find them on Instagram what I'm wearing or you can just head to my shop like to know an account uh, bookmark it on your internets on your browsers and anytime you see me wear anything even if it's in a YouTube video it's probably over there so you can find it and shop it so I made myself a double espresso cup is from drippy pots it's a small um, business and watered my plant today, y'all. I ordered a new plant. I ordered a new Monstera plant because my old one died. I tried to repot it in a pot that was just way too big. Forgot to take the plug out of the bottom. Left, came back, it had rained it out. It flooded the plant, it died. So sad. So I ordered a new one and I got it from Amazon. And it came in a day. And it's a beautiful plant. Um, and then I ordered a little pot that was actually the size of the planter from Amazon as well. And it has a drain down at the bottom with a plate. The thing is the drains here, um, there was no plate underneath. And so it was just like flooding my patio and like staining the tile of my patio, which wasn't good. So I love that this planter pot has a built in plate to catch the water. So it's not damaging like, um, the tiles on my patio which are a light like grayish white so it's easy to stain so i'll be sure to link that monstera plant down in the description box as well as the pot from amazon i've already shown you guys my updated makeup routine in the previous vlog it's the same makeup look the same products so i'll just link those down below if you're interested but i do have my hair back in my little puff um i really just let my um uh, twist out just kind of do its thing and it reverted and I just put it up into a little puff and I'm actually I'm feeling it I did my baby hairs with a new um a new like gel let me show it to you okay here it is although I do love the gummy gel from Amazon this is probably my new favorite and I showed this to you in my what I got from uh fashion from new york fashion week pr haul i think i i think this was in the gift bag from the sammy b show but this is kiss colors and care braiding gel um for style and strengthening for protective styles it has jamaican black castor oil and vegan shea butter and rosemary oil with maximum hold now the other gummy gel i use is red and it smells like cherry this is clear which I really like and so this is also for like when you're getting braids that you know to bring the hair all together you use this and it's uh, non flaking sulfate free paraben free vegan cruelty free and I've been using this for my baby hairs and I'm actually really liking this it smells pretty good too so if you're interested I will link it down below because I am in the process of getting my edges together since they've been in braids for so long and your edges kind of take the brunt of the, you know, the tightness. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly finish up my makeup and then we'll go out into my office. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm up to today. I also have a new camera. Um, I'm gonna go over my, all of my camera equipment for those who are interested. And then we're gonna fill some reels. I'm gonna show you how I edit my fashion reels because a lot of you are interested in that. And I do wanna show you guys some new and products that I got as well so give me a sec i'm gonna throw on a lip some blush get myself together 
and I'll meet you guys out in the office. All right guys, so I just added a little bit of Dior gloss in rosewood. It's beautiful and a little bit of Dior, uh, it's like a pink uh, blush. Since we're just doing reels, um, so I'm uploading a YouTube video right now. The video is an hour and a half. <laughs> uh, it's one of my longest vlogs in a while. Let me know what you guys think. Like, I know the diehard stands of the channel love a good long vlog. Um, but for a while I was mixing in, you know, 40, 30 minutes and under with fashion content. Um, let me know what you guys think of the mixture or if like you really just prefer a super long vlog. Um, because I want to know. So yeah, it is updated. The checks are complete. No issues found. It's 1030. I'm probably going to make that live around noon. But I wanted to show you all a new camera I got. Now, if you're wondering what you're on right now, I am vlogging with the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, this is a brand spanking new one that I just bought from Target. Um, it came in two days. I just needed a new camera because it, as you all know, my old camera cracked when I dropped it in Paris during Paris Fashion Week. Now, up until the very like last vlog you saw, I was still using this camera. I did do a fashion haul where I used this camera. Now this is the Canon R6 camera and I believe this lens is a 52 millimeter lens. Um, this is like the big daddy. This is the one I use when I want crisp video, crisp photos and I will pop some like photos I've taken of myself with this camera with just like the self timer of me like sitting here when I redid my office space and I got this brand new gray blue ca blue clay couch um, and I just sat on my couch and I took some self portraits with this photo so I'll pop those up here so you can see the quality of this camera um, this is what my photographer uses uh, Maria to take all of my photos it is the Canon R6 it is mirrorless um, which makes it I believe like a little bit lighter it takes incredible video. The only thing with this camera is that the video, the monitor comes out to the side. So you may have noticed when I did my most recent fall haul with that like invisible tank top from my Teresa that you all loved, that I would look over to like the right, like this, to check myself in the viewfinder. Now on my vlog camera here, I'm vlogging on my Canon G7X. And when you flip the top up, or the viewfinder, you look at yourself upwards. So I'm still, I can still look at myself while it seems like I'm looking directly at the camera at you all. So that's the, that's what I love about the Canon G7X. The Sony camera, I believe, comes out to the side. And you also need a mic for the Sony. The Sony, I believe, does have like better quality, but the sound is worse. <laughs> Um, so I just like the Canon G7X and I'm about to like pimp out my camera because I realized that they make these little skins on Amazon now for the Canon and so you can customize it with different colors. I'll pop those up here and scroll through so you can see but I'm thinking about getting like the clear, not clear, it's like a white matte skin and then there's like a brown like caramel cinnamony nude color skin that I think would be so cute for my camera. So yeah, if you're interested in vlogging, I would definitely recommend the Canon G7X Mark II, not the Mark III. I know the Mark III is newer, but it's not better than the G7X Mark II. And it's great. I don't use a mic ever with this camera. Um, it takes amazing flash photos at night. Um, and even just during the day, like you can use this to take your Instagram photos. The quality is impeccable. But if you want a big dog, I recommend the Canon um, R6 mirrorless with the 50 millimeter lens. This is what I film like my very crisp sit down videos with. Um, so I will link both of these cameras down below. This is what I'm vlogging on. This is what you're seeing me on right now. It's just a new one because this one is cracked. And this is what I filmed my recent fall haul video on when I was telling you guys I'm vlogging with a new camera. Um, the only thing about this is it doesn't focus as well. So you can't just be like moving all around with this. This is really good for like a sit down video. 
um, type of vibe, you know. So I will link both of those down below. But that's not even the new camera I got that I was talking about. I actually got a GoPro. And I also got this from Target. I got this camera and the camera I'm vlogging on right now at the same time. So I got a little GoPro. This is the 10 Black. And I'm obsessed with it. Now the reason why I got the GoPro is because you guys know that I bike. Um, I like to bike around Miami Beach, uh, Miami proper on the mainland. I like to do the Venetian. I like to do the boardwalk. And most of the time when I insert clips from my bike rides, it's filmed on my phone. And that's, of course, not safe because I'm taking the phone off the mount to like vlog and like <laughs> while I'm biking. So I didn't want to have to do that. So I bought this little tiny GoPro. You can see how big it is compared to like my hand. And it came with like a little like adventure pack which has this little like headpiece that you can put on top of your helmet while you ride so here's my helmet so i just put this on top of my helmet and it's like very like stretchy but it has these little ribs that will hold it in place and then it has this little mount in the front and as you can see on the gopro down at the bottom of it it has these little clips that you can pull out like so can you see that and then they just slide right into the mount like so hey stop it <laughs> like so just like that and it swivels and then of course it comes with a little mount clip that I just put in the side here and then I I twist it to tighten it so that it doesn't move and it just stays on my helmet now I can move this a little bit to the exactly where I want it and I kind of tilt it down a little bit so people can see the wheel of my bike and the road and then you just put that on your helmet, you hit this little button at the top, and it records. So, I tried it out for the very first time. I'm going to insert a little bike ride that I did yesterday. I biked the Venetian Bridge um, from Miami Beach to uh, like Miami proper, and then I just turned around and came right back. I also went around every like island which there's three of them and kind of looked at the houses as well so i'll insert a few clips from that so you all can see how this gopro works and i will also link it down below but i'm just excited because you guys know i love biking and i want to share that with the world i might like i want to get so good at this that i will just start a whole new channel just posting my bike rides so i will insert the footage here a little montage and you guys can check out how the camera works on my bike ride I did yesterday. enjoyed that footage it was such a good ride yesterday like the weather in Miami is perfect okay I've been meaning to show you all something for a while so let me grab it uh yes we got her so I showed it in an intro of like one of my previous videos once I got back from fashion month but forgot to talk about it I finally got my plaque, you guys. It 
is my 100,000 subscribers YouTube plaque. And I'm just, I'm very happy because I've been working towards this goal for like two years. Um, and at a point I just was like, oh, this is just, why is it so slow? And then it just burst beyond that. And I do uh, thank just <laughs> the YouTube shorts platform because ever since I started posting shorts pretty regularly, almost every day or every other day, that has contributed exponentially to my growth, to my increased number of subscribers and getting new viewers to my channel. So if you're wondering how you can grow on YouTube, I would highly recommend posting YouTube shorts, even repurposing your reels from Instagram or your TikToks onto YouTube. Um, and just because unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but that's really the only way I've seen firsthand of people growing on YouTube without doing clickbaity type of things or challenges or just things that don't really resonate with you as a person. You just hopping on to a trend or a bandwagon just to get more people. Uh, I don't like doing that. I want the people who follow me to follow me because you know, they resonate with the content. They like the fashion, they like the lifestyle um, portions, they like styling, they like travel, um, and they like me, <laughs> you know? So, or they see themselves in me somehow, or I inspire them. And so those are the people that I want. I don't wanna do like giveaways or just challenges just to get anyone to subscribe. And definitely YouTube, uh, shorts has really helped me with that and I've also started doing brand campaigns through YouTube so I mean it's just I feel like I'm winning with YouTube right now so this is my plaque it is so beautiful and I decided to put it over here uh, on my little bookshelf I think I'm gonna add another shelf here as well but thank you all for helping me get surpassed 100,000 subscribers to those who are new who just started following me this month to those who have been here since i posted a youtube video for the first time what 11 12 years ago i appreciate each and every one of you um and maybe we'll do a live to celebrate i think we did a live already before i even got the plaque but now that i have it maybe we'll do another live i'm thinking uh sometime in november so stay tuned so today I have a little bit of work to do. I need to send a treatment for a brand, pretty much outlining like how I'm gonna shoot the content, where I'm gonna shoot it, what I'm gonna wear, my captions. And this is actually, it's hard to do, especially when you don't already have the product, but some brands are very like aesthetic driven. Um, and before you even shoot the content, they want all the things so that they can uh, kind of tweak it before you even start shooting, which can be like a good and bad thing. But I need to do that today. So that's the top of the list. But I also wanna go ahead and do at least three reels while the light is good here in my office. Um, this dress from Sir The Label, it's one of my favorite kind of like Saint Laurent dupe dresses um, because Anything sheer is really giving like Saint Laurent right now and I'm loving it. But this was one of my purchases during, I believe the summer, like right before I went to uh, LA to shoot the Something by Sanji uh, collection. By the way, we are shooting another collection or we are doing another collection for fall. I think you guys are gonna love it. You all seem to really enjoy the collection we did, it was titled Desert Oasis and it was all kind of like blacks and neutrals and like desert palette colors. Um, we did this amazing cargo skirt that literally sold out in a day. I'll roll some footage here so you can see in case you missed it. We went out to Joshua Tree. We rented this gorgeous house and we shot the entire collection there and it was amazing like that collection was one of our best selling collections ever so of course we are coming back this fall the collection will drop in november that's all i'm gonna say get your coins ready because you guys are gonna love this collection there's something for everyone uh, we are also size inclusive we go up to i believe a size 3xl and all the pieces um, it is a limited collection this time we will not 
be reissuing anything like usually if something does well we could source the fabric the same fabric again and have it remade within like a few weeks um this would not be the case with this collection if you miss it you miss it okay so make sure you sign up for my newsletter down below it's linked in a pinned comment and the description box just click the link um put in your email address and you'll receive my newsletter every tuesday um, and I will give you guys all the tea. You guys will have the first access to the photos, to the collection. When it does drop, we'll give you the exact dates. Um, or head over to somethingbysanji.com and sign up for her newsletter for the website. And you will get first dibs on everything. Okay? I'm telling you now. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you now because people say, hey, you really spring the collections on us. You don't give us a chance and then it sells out. I'm telling you right now. The collection is dropping in November. Sign up to my newsletter for details. I'm also doing a giveaway every week in October uh, for new newsletter subscribers only. And the, I went off on a tangent, but this dress reminded me that I wore it in <laughs> um, LA when I was there shooting the collection. But I recently wore this to dinner at Tala Beach restaurant now if you guys know me you know i love the one hotel i have about five vlogs on this channel featuring the one um south beach miami hotel it's one of my favorites but they have a restaurant outside it's a beautiful area i've actually shot quite a few like photos there um and they just reopened it's a mediterranean fair and they invited me to come and check it out so i will actually roll some of that footage it's going to be in like a insta story form because i we had planned on vlogging but i want to show you guys the food because it was so good so i'm going to let that footage play we'll come back and we'll talk about it all right guys so i'm heading to dinner at tala it is the outdoor restaurant at the one hotel they have a new menu so I'm going to take you guys with me just wearing this Sir the Label dress, this little uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy. The earrings are new in from Oscar de la Renta. They're so cool. Uh, and my Bottega mules. All right, let's go. Mediterranean food I've had in a hot minute the hummus was good so delicious and then I think we had like some other kind of dip as well I'll put everything we ate down in the description bar um that was so good with like the pita bread and the vegetables and I don't even really care for raw vegetables like that but dipped in that hummus and that sauce oh so good I ended up getting the branzino it was so fresh so flavorful mmm just delicious um what else what else did i have i had the crudo the crudo wasn't the best so don't get the crudo get the branzino and if you're vegetarian go for what was it um it was like a root vegetable like a squash oh my goodness it was so good now the food is excellent the vibes are very sexy like especially at night like you're on the sand there's candles there's mood light you can almost hear the ocean which is like a bush away <laughs> um i would recommend it for a date night like it's very cute it's very sexy if you happen to stay at the one hotel of course you can go there but even if you're not staying at the one hotel you can still eat at this restaurant um 
also the drinks the drinks blew me away uh if you're just looking for a good nightcap before heading out go there for the drinks every and they gave us like a little tasting of the different drinks they have this mango drink wow so amazing they have this gin cucumber and lychee drink blew my mind um there was like a spicy marg with like this uh i believe it is it's a patron that only they have like one barrel of and once the barrel is gone like it's gone forever it blew my mind the drinks are amazing so if you're looking for a place for a, a nightcap or a place to just pre-game go for the drinks and then you can like head out but yeah i really enjoyed it shout out to the team for inviting me dinner was amazing i ended up wearing this dress i wore my little uh speedy 25 i keep forgetting i have this so i need to like wear it more often um but you saw the whole outfit i will link everything down below so right now i'm gonna go ahead and set up to film some reels i will of course pop them all up after i'm done and then i will show you all um what like apps and things i use to edit my reels and we'll see what else the day brings because we're just chilling by the way this house dress is skims i'll link it down below i wear a medium in all of my skims house dresses and i will link a few of my favorites including my tube top one my halter neck one this ribbed one which comes in every color imaginable i have it in gray i have it in pink I have it in like a caramel brown but the black one is always my favorite one um and usually this is what i start all of my like outfit of the day reels in as well so i'm actually going to bring a few up here because i don't like to wear just the same dress i like to change in and out so all of these looks i'm going to film i think i've already shot in a previous video i definitely want to film the army um the the army like mini dress from norma kamali that you would have seen in a previous video i definitely want to do that one and a few more so i'm just gonna set up go ahead and film everything i'll pop up all the reels so you can check them out and then we'll go over the equipment and apps that i use to edit everything let's style this norma kamali camo printed dress i love that it's a mini dress and velcros in the front it also comes with a brown leather ding ring belt i'm wearing a medium by the way and for the footwork we're going with these vetmon velvet boots what is that velvet yes yes why yes it's velvet let's play up the brown in the dress with these melanated earrings from hoop mob and this brown leather Louis bag that I got from What Goes Around Comes Around. It's vintage and they have the best vintage bags, by the way. Today's fragrance is MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold, which smells like actual gold and gives rich vibes. And we are topping off the look with Bottega sunglasses and we are off. All the details can be found below in the caption. Today we're styling the invisible tank top from Y Project. We're gonna style this with a pair of denim jeans. Not just any jeans, we went with these Margella slash jeans and I just folded them up twice because I wanna show off the shoe. And not just any shoe, my first pair of red bottoms. Effortlessly chic earrings, so we're going with these from Oscar De La Renta. Today's fragrance is a mixture of Baccarat Rouge 540 and Fenty Butter Drop in Cinnamon. And for the bag, we're gonna go with like Jody Bottega in the largest size. It's chic, it's effortless, and that's today's look. guys so it is about 12 45 now and i just finished up my reels i did like four get ready with me reels um and i'm going to start incorporating voiceovers with captions to kind of see if that helps normally i would just post a trending sound and i would get thousands of views and thousands of likes but lately that hasn't been working I'm just using the trending sound. So I'm going to start doing voiceovers, adding captions to my reels, as well as a trending sound and see if that gets me back on the bandwagon with getting more um, uh, views and reaching a different audience. 
Uh, I know most people on Instagram, when you're watching reels, it's without sound. And so with me just kind of standing there with an outfit, you can kind of expect what's coming. But I feel like if I put captions on the screen, that will grab people a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. Let me show you guys what I use to film my reels. For one, I don't use a professional camera for reels. I use my iPhone. I use the back camera. So it's facing like this <laughs> um, and I'm standing in front. So I use the back camera always. I kind of set it up so that it's this portion of my area. Like you'll be able to view this closet because I walk in there a lot. And then you can see my little setup here from Ikea with my bags and things. People just visually like seeing that area. So I always kind of film like right here. And I do have some white space here so you can see the details of the outfit better as well. Again, I just filmed with my iPhone in 4K mode. Uh, I'll show you my tripod. So here is my tripod. It's from Amazon. I've linked quite a few. Um, it really doesn't matter what tripod. Like a lot of people are stuck on getting the exact one that I have, but I have about five different ones, all from the same brand. They're all amazing. This one can get up to about, I believe five and a half feet, which is great. Um, and I just flipped it up here and I added the phone clip extender. So you can see, I'll take, I'll pop this off so you can see the extender. And then I just pop my iPhone there and I face it in this corner where I do my reels. Um, so let me pop this off so you can see the little phone extender, which usually comes with most tripods. So here it is. It's just a little clip that you can clip in to the extender. So it looks like this, you have your extender here, you just screw this into this base piece and clip it on there and then it holds on. So I will be sure to link the tripod from Amazon. I will be sure to link the cell phone little clip. I will be sure to link the little cell phone clip extender and it works for any size phone, it doesn't matter, as well as this little base piece. But usually all of these come with the tripod. Oh, here you go, you can see it better here. So yeah, all of these pieces normally come with the tripod. So it just makes it easy to film myself um, with my iPhone here. And then for my outfits, I usually place anything I want to like wear or make a reel in or just make sure I wear it during the week here on this little rack. And I got this little clothing rack from Amazon. Um, it's super cute very kind of like sleek and minimal. It has a little marble base and then you just screw in three poles and then one pole comes out and you can move this, like I can move this this way, I can move this that way if I want, but everything on this rack are like the things that I wanna wear this week, things that I wanna make content with and it just makes it easier. Also in the back of here, there are little hooks. You can see a hook there and a hook here, which I have some hats hanging on. I believe there's another hook down there as well. But this is super easy to put together. I believe it was like $49. So I'll be sure to link this little clothing rack from Amazon. It's a lot more sleek than just your average clothing rack. Now, to edit my reels, I use CapCut app. Uh, is it free? I can't, I believe it is free. Um, and I just put my reels in CapCut, kind of chop them up. I can remove sound, add sound, I can overlay parts, it's very easy. So I will put that down below. Also what I love about this tripod is it has a little <laughs> like crank that I can lift you guys up with. So that's a more acceptable height. Um, so I hope that was helpful. I've linked all of those, like the cameras, the clips, the equipment I use, and the clothing rack down below. Um, my description box is done for my YouTube video. So we're going to have a working lunch. I'm going to uh, work on getting that imported into the video. I've already done my thumbnail with Canva. Um, and before I put it into Canva, I just select photos from my phone that are included in the video or that have something to do with what's happening in the video. Usually a few fashion outfits and such, dinners I went to, 
um, photos I've taken with my iPhone of pieces I'll be showing, showing in the video. Um, and I put them into InShot. I make a collage and then I export that collage to Canva and kind of create the mood with like a caption, whether that's blog or whatever in Canva. And I save it as a photo and then I upload it to YouTube as a thumbnail. So that's very simple as well. But I've already done that. Let me show you the one I created for today's video. Is it still there? Yeah, let me show you. Okay, so here is what I created for Canva. Now, the this little backdrop with one, two, three, four, five photos, I just imported all of those photos into InShot app. So these are pretty much all the apps I use to create content. We're gonna go into InShot and you can see the collage I made with these five different photos. Now it's very easy. You can change all of these things. You can even go to layout and change how you want the photos to appear. If you want them all in a row, if you want them like this, and they give you a ton of different options to create collages. So then I just saved that photo, imported it into Canva, and then I made this little title, um, which was very easy. Like I found out with my audience that it is easier to just do a very plain Miami vlog, such and such, but I used to tinker with it a bit. Like for this one, for a while I was doing like a faded grid, which you see this here, I can remove the fade. Like that's a thing you can add in Canva. And then I would just put in white words with like what the vlog was about down below. Um, yeah, and sometimes I feel like that one is more vibey, more aesthetic, but people don't really read it as much. But you guys sound off. Let me know which one you prefer, like the aesthetic one or just like the plain one. But Canva is definitely great for thumbnails. And I do pay a prescription, I mean a subscription for this as well to be able to use all of like the cooler features. But there's so many features with it that you don't need like to pay for as well. They have all of these cool um, like thumbnails that you can do that are already kind of like pre-made and you just pop your photos in. Like it's very, very easy and simple to make amazing thumbnails with Canva. Like look at all of these cool little templates over here. There's a little day in my life one. Like how cool is that? And then you just import your photo. All right, so my lunch is here. I ordered some sweet green, my favorite salad from them, which is the crispy rice salad with blackened chicken and green goddess sauce. I love green goddess sauce, especially when it has dill in it. I love dill. In fact, I grow my own dill. <laughs> so yeah, let's head downstairs. I'm gonna grab that, mix it all up, get it nice and bring it back up here. And we're gonna have a working lunch while I do the description box for today's YouTube video, which is a Miami vlog lunch with Fendi, simple makeup routine, fall, new in fall fashion and statement jewelry. So yeah, we gotta get this done because I have quite a bit of work to do for that treatment. All right guys, so here is my salad. It is the crispy rice bowl. It has a base of arugula, wild rice, for toppings, I went with spicy broccoli, cucumber, carrots, and apples, cilantro, blackened chicken, almonds, crispy rice, and of course, a lemon squeeze and green goddess dressing. it all up it's so good I only allow myself to eat this twice a week because it actually has like 600 calories <laughs> I can eat a cheeseburger for that but like it's so good and it's because I always get two dressings I can't help myself 
and the spicy broccoli. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna focus on getting this YouTube video up. It's one o'clock now, I would like it up by two. So let's get into this description bar. Get that up and running, import it, make sure all the links work. And we are going to go ahead and import my thumbnail and get this up. It's about 2.40, the YouTube video is live. It's actually been, a lot, been live for like 20 minutes, but I've been sharing it across all my platforms, Facebook, where I have 45,000 um, followers, by the way, which is nuts. Um, so I shared it on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, my broadcast channel on my Instagram, of course, my Instagram stories, did I say LinkedIn already? I also post my links to LinkedIn. It's a more like professional setting. And so just so that people know that I am like located in New York and Miami, I like to post my videos there as well. Cause you never know uh, who's, you know, watching. So the video is live. I'm nice and full off my salad. I'm gonna save the rest. Um, I need to do this treatment for a brand they didn't say when it was due today they just said by end of day today so i'm gonna go ahead and work on that that's gonna take me a few hours i also want to go ahead and edit one of the reels that i shot you would have already seen it because it was done after the fact but i need to actually edit it and post it to signal that there's a new youtube video and then i want to show you guys some new and beauty products i got something in from makeup forever and i also got something in from Laura Mercier mm, it's like a holiday thing so I'm very excited about that so I'm just gonna work a little bit more and then I'll check in with you guys soon it'll be like two hours my time it'll be like no time your time so yeah be right back all right guys video is up posted a reel it's doing horribly like it's been up for 30 minutes I think I have 200 likes I'm not even gonna complain about it. Like, I can't even care anymore. Um, so let me go ahead and show you a few new things I got in from Makeup Forever and from Laura Mercier. And then I'm probably just gonna close out this vlog. This is probably gonna be a short one. I did speak a lot in this one though. Um, and I also need to upload these videos to my Dropbox and make a little brief so I can send it to my editor so she can edit it so we can go up in a few days so let's start with makeup forever uh paris wait professional paris look at this how cool they sent this over and it is i believe it's blushes and like pencils so i'm gonna show you all Oh, they sent Artist Highlighters. This one is Anywhere Gunner. And I don't really wear highlighters like that, so this will be great for the holiday season. Can you guys see how sparkly it is? That's nice. Oh, this is nice. Um, so there are six of these, and they range. This one is Coco. They're all highlighters Ooh, this one's so pretty it's about to break though how cute are these so they sent me six highlighters which i'll go through with you guys and then they sent the makeup forever artist color pencils for your eyes and there are about one two three four five six seven eight ten of these in all different colors ranging from cream to white if you like to do like a, a highlight on your lid all the way from all of like the brown colors and neutrals for fall let me do a little swatch test with all of the highlighters for you all okay so i thought all six of these were highlighters but we only have three highlighters we have this one 
which is beautiful. This is the Limitless Mocha Artist Highlighter and it looks stunning. Then here we have more of like a pearl highlighter and this one is Whatever Pearl. So that's more of like a silver. And then we have a beautiful gold here, which is Anywhere Glimmer. And I'll be sure to link these down below if you're looking for a new highlighter. It goes on super smooth. You can see a little bit on my finger there. The next three are blushes, which is great because I'm always looking for new blushes. Um, and these are from Makeup Forever. The first one here is Whatever Rose. This one looks like it's gonna be my favorite. I love like kind of a deep pink. And this one is Limitless Berry. And then we have like a peach almost. This probably won't work as well for my skin tone, but this is Anywhere Peach. So those are the three blushes. These are the three highlighters. And then we have a ton of like neutral colored pencils. Um, that you can make incredible makeup looks with for fall. All right, guys, I'm losing the light. So let me go ahead and show you what I got in from Laura Mercier. It says, Monroe, you are fated to be flawless. Uh, celebrate the Celestial Celebration Holiday 2023 collection. So let's see what we have in here. They always have the best packaging. There's a little handwritten note, as always. My name is on there. And this is a little palette that kind of tells me everything that's inside. So let's sit this down on the counter and go through it together. Okay, get into it. Man, it's so thick, really. Okay, so we have the Laura Mercier Stroke of Fortune Serum Body Cream Trio. Ooh, like how beautiful is this holiday packaging? I actually have a few of these already. We have the Neroli Du Sud Body Cream. We also have the Amber Vanille Serum Body Cream. This is my favorite scent from Lara Mercy. And we also have the Almond Coconut, which also smells really amazing. But if I had to choose, I would definitely go with this one. But it's nice that you have a holiday trio where you can get all three. And that can be an amazing gift for someone for the holidays. So I will be sure to link that. Next up, what's in here? So next up, we have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Power Powders. Um, I love Laura Mercier Setting Powder. It's really the only like powder I use. And let's see which three. I think it's three or maybe two came inside of here. So hard to do this unboxing with one hand. Okay, so we have a little powder puff, which Laura Mercier always gives. Uh, so I thought this was a trio, but it's just one. <laughs> it's just the translucent Laura Mercier powder, which I like to set my under eye concealer with this and it works wonders. Next up, we have the Glow and Forth Tinted Moisturizer Blush Collection. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, I actually have these already, so I don't need to open them up, but they are minis. And these are the color blushes. And I like that they're like tinted moisturizer blush. I feel like that's better for your skin, but I'm not gonna open this because I already have these. I'll probably put this into a giveaway. Finally, we have the Caviar Stick Trio. And these are like the Caviar eyeshadows in beautiful colors. Uh, so great for the holiday. Again, I have all of these already, so I'm probably gonna put this into like a giveaway. But all of these are from Laura Mercier. It's their collection for like a holiday gift. You can see there it's like $34 for a $51 value. Um, this one is $89 for a $108 value. This is amazing for that price because these are really big. Um, so I'll be sure to link these down below if you're looking for holiday gifts for anyone in your family, especially those who love beauty and makeup. Definitely check out the Laura Mercier like holiday gift packages. And last but not least, I got gifted this pair of 
Nike Dunks, a friend gave them to me. Um, they are the Women's Nike Dunks Low in black and white coconut milk. Oh, they're so cute. And you guys know I love a high top, but like I don't have any low tops, but I love these. So they are just black and white Nike sneakers. But the bottom here is more of like a Cafe Olay white. And then the white here is a stark white. They are super comfortable. And I just feel like they're great for fall. They will go with pretty much in everything. I'm, I'm having a black and white kick right now, especially when it comes to my tops. I have a super cute invisible top from Y Project in black that will work well with these as well as in white that will work well with these. And there is a huge like Nike sale happening right now. So I will link a few of my favorite Nike sneakers from their website and you can check them out like most of the sneakers are under a hundred dollars and they're all like tip top quality and i love some of the colorways of them as well so yeah love these shout out to my friend who got these for me and i'm gonna be styling more looks with sneakers in my styling reels soon over on youtube shorts as well as instagram so look out for that if you're a sneakerhead all right guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this day with me video. It is now 6.30. I am gonna finish up some work I have to do for a brand and send in a treatment for them. I'm gonna be answering um, DMs and comments for the rest of the day on my YouTube video that just went live. It's the one where I went to the Fendi lunch and shot some fall fashion looks. And yeah, that's it for the rest of the day. Like literally the whole day I just spent pretty much working. Um, and this is what I do when I'm like, like not out at events and such. So I hope this gives like more of a clear picture of what con full-time content creators actually do. A lot of it is really just being at home alone, talking to a camera by yourself and also <laughs> answering emails, filming, uh, yeah that's pretty much my life when i'm not like out and just so you guys know i know you guys see me go out a lot but that's because i film when i go <laughs> i go out and maybe that's like two maybe three times a week and so it seems like i'm doing a lot but it's just that i'm putting the most exciting things of my week in the video for you all so please don't think your girl is out every night because i am a homebody i would rather be at home um, if it's not work, if I'm not getting paid, if it's not a brand partnership, if it's not building a connection, your girl's at home. Okay, home is my favorite place and it's where the heart is. It's true. <laughs> All right, you guys, everything you've seen in today's video, I've linked down in the description box for you. All of the tools I use for content creation, the cameras, all of the things I showed you new in, the Nikes, Laura Mercier, um, the bits from Makeup Forever. Uh, yeah. And I hope you all enjoyed it and it wasn't too boring, but this is a real life day in my life, okay? All right, guys, give your girl a thumbs up. Do not leave without thumbsing up the video. Do what you gotta do. If you need to go to a computer, if you need to do it from your TV, which you can do it from your TV, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. I would like 5,000 thumbs up on this video. If you can do it, there'll be a prize. Yeah, there will be a prize if I get 5,000 thumbs up on this video. And it will be to whoever leaves a comment on this video and we get 5,000 thumbs up. That's all we can do. <laughs> okay. And make sure to sign up for my newsletter for all of the, of the details on my upcoming clothing line collaboration with something by Sanji. I have another collaboration coming out soon too, but I can't speak about it just yet, but it's going to be epic. So yeah, sign up for the newsletter. You, they get all the tea first. All right. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a video. And next Sunday's vlog will be a lot more action filled. I'm actually gonna leave the house a few times, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one. Bye.